एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनर्जी वर्सेस के डायग्राम फॉर अ पार्टिकल व्हिच इज मूविंग इन अ पीरियोडिक पोटेंशियल ओके सो एज वी नो दैट द एनर्जी ऑफ अ फ्री पार्टिकल दिस इज गिवन बाय ई इज इक्वल टू एच क्रॉस स्क्वायर के स्क्वायर बाय 2m सो दिस शोस दैट द एनर्जी इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू के स्क्वायर if energy is proportional to k square this means that the behavior of energy with k vector must be parabolic so this dotted curve which is shown uh, which is showing the parabola it represent the energy for a free particle but we know that when the particle is in periodic potential then uh, the k values are represented by the alpha values we have seen that the relation is 2 me by h cross square is equal to alpha square and from the kp model we have seen that all the values of alpha they are not allowed some values are there which represent the forbidden region from the kp model we have seen this equation p sin alpha a by alpha a plus cos alpha a is equal to cos k a so this left hand side this depends on the values of alpha so it can take the values beyond plus minus 1 because this cos alpha a can have values between plus minus 1 so this this due to this value this left hand side can take the value beyond plus minus 1 but right hand side only can take the values between plus minus 1 so it means that for a valid solutions these two left hand side and right hand side should have the same values but the values which are beyond plus minus 1 for the left hand side they represent the forbidden region okay so it means the allowed regions they are described by the values of this cos right hand side that is cos ka so from cos ka which can take the values between plus minus 1 we have the possible values of k this is plus minus n pi by a which represent the allowed zone boundaries it means this right hand side this gives the values of k which represent the boundaries of the energy values that can that a particle can have okay so let us draw the curve so alpha it represent it has allowed values as well as the forbidden values it means if we plot the values with respect to k values then energy versus k curve will not be a continuous curve for the particle which is moving in a periodic lattice so let's say for first zone for n is equal to 1 k ranges between plus minus 1 so energy of the particle is a continuous curve in the first band this first region then at plus minus pi by a this value there will be one discontinuity because this represent the zone boundaries so up to this value the values are allowed and at this value even there will be a discontinuity in the energy values of the particle because at part this particular value if we increase further the value of alpha it lies in the forbidden range as we have discussed in the kp model so at this particular pi by a up to this value even the energy is continuous and at this value pi by a the energy shows a discontinuity the discontinuity is e2 minus e1 this is the discontinuous range of energy that is delta e which represent the forbidden gap region so again from here the curve will start the continuous curve will start so first discontinuity discontinuity will appear at plus minus pi by a then up to 2 pi by a the energy ranges are continuous again at 2 pi by a the curve shows a discontinuity representing again a forbidden region between this allowed band and this allowed band so these forbidden gaps they are due to the values of alpha a which are not allowed for the particle so values of energy which are not allowed for the particle as given by the kp model so again there is a continuous curve up to this 3 pi by a and at this 3 pi by a 
again there will be a discontinuity in the energy a range of energy which will be forbidden for the particle so overall we can discuss that the energy versus k curve for a particle which is moving in a periodic lattice is not a continuous curve it is a discontinuous curve showing the allowed ranges of energies these are allowed bands first allowed band it means this this range of energy is allowed for the particle then second allowed band means this range of energy is second allowed band means allowed for the particle then third allowed band again this range of energy is allowed for the particle but these allowed ranges of energies they are separated by the forbidden ranges of energies which represent the forbidden bands so this discontinuity in the e versus k curve represent the presence of first allowed bands and forbidden bands for the particle which are moving in a periodic potential so let us discuss the significance of this term e1 and e2 now e1 it again at it is again at plus plus pi by a and e2 this energy is again at plus pi by a. it means at this zone boundary means at the particular k value which represent the allowed zone boundary the particle possess two energies one is this e1 other is this e2 now let us discuss how uh, what this represent the particle possessing the two energies at the same k value so let us uh, let us assume that these zone boundaries are like a wall at this wall the particle the particle which is in say first allowed band this allowed band the particle which is in motion in the first allowed band so it is acting as a wave so wave in the first allowed band this will have the wave vectors plus minus pi by a so the wave functions for that wave this can be represented by either psi 1 e raised to power eta pi by a or psi 2 e raised to power minus eta pi by a so this can be assumed that the wave which is traveling in say positive x direction it meets the wall at this k value pi by a and is reflected within the region so there can be two possibilities at the zone boundary let's say this is the zone boundary the wave reaches the boundary it is reflected back within the same allowed band or the wave is transmitted to the other allowed band so if the wave is reflected back within the same band it will possess the energy e1 the particle will possess the energy e1 and if it is transmitted the particle will possess the energy e2 that means that particle will move from first allowed band to the second allowed band and it appears here possessing the energy e2 so these are the two waves so superposition at the boundary superposition of the two waves will take place one is either there are two waves one is incident other is reflected and second case is there are two waves one is incident other is transmitted so if we find the resultant wave function so there are two possibilities one is either the two will add that is the wave is reflected back we will have this wave function so this e raised to power eta theta e raised to power minus eta theta this will result into the wave function this and another possibility is wave function is negative it means the wave is transmitted so the superposition of the waves will result in this resultant wave function so this is given by 2 eta sin pi by a so if we find the probability from the two wave functions we know that probability is square of the wave function so for psi plus the probability is proportional to cos square pi by a and for psi minus the probability is proportional to sin square pi by a. so if we see the probabilities 
वन इज कॉ स्क्वेर थीटा अदर इज साइन स्क्वेर थीटा इट मीन्स इफ दिस इज मैक्सिमम द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ दिस विल बी मिनिमम एंड इफ दिस इज मैक्सिमम द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ दिस विल बी मिनिमम इट मीन्स इफ द पार्टिकल इज रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक it will possess the energy even it means if it is given by this wave function it is bound to its lattice bounds to bound to its atom and will lie in the first allowed band let's say this first allowed band is the valence band so particle will lie in the valence band it means it will behave as the electron okay and second possibility is this this is when the particle will transmit to the second allowed band when the particle will transmit to the second allowed band it means the electron will jump from the first allowed band to second allowed band say conduction band it will possess the energy e2 if the particle is possessing the energy e2 it means electron is here now in the second allowed band so if the particle is here it will leave behind a vacancy in the first allowed band that is this say valence band so it represent the presence of holes so this psi minus square also gives you probability of finding the holes in the first allowed band or you can say the valence allowed band so possessing the two energies at the same k value represent basically if the particle is here the energy possessed by electron is e2 and there will be hole in the first allowed band and if the particle is here in the first allowed band it means it is reflected back at the boundary then it will possess the energy e2 so this is the significance of the energy values that a particle can possess at the same k value e2 and e1 e2 is when it is in excited state means conduction band and e1 will it will possess when it is in valence band so this is all about the energy versus k curve which represent the presence of allowed ranges of energies and the forbidden ranges of energies and at particular k value the particle is possessing the both the energies e1 and e2 it means that if particle is moved from allowed band first allowed to second allowed band that is in conduction band it will leave behind a vacancy in the valence band so this is all about energy versus k curve which is not a continuous curve it is a discontinuous curve for the particle which is moving in a periodic lattice i hope you understood the concept well please like this video and share with your peer groups also subscribe to my channel this will give me a motivation for making such videos keep learning physics with dr kavita sigwal thank you